There is a man who is doing his best to protect and clean our inland waterways, fighting a mighty adventure against truth, justice, no, fighting for truth, justice, and the American way. We're talking about the president of the Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago, Terry O'Brien. Hi, Abby. How are you? Good, Mr. President. How yeah, are you? Not too bad on a very warm day. A very warm day. As a matter of fact, even though this may not air that day, this summer has been so warm that any day it's going to air is too warm. I can't even get the air conditioner down to proper so, levels. It's got to be one of the warmest days, I think, this summer. I, I would think so. 100 degrees. Yeah, my, uh, the th the, um, I have no thermometer that goes over 99, and it hit that in the backyard, so... That's, You're uh, lucky. Lucky? Yes. <laughs> that, that I don't know how hot it is. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so does, does the warm weather have an effect on, um, you know, how the water's cleaned? No, it doesn't. Uh, we still go through the same process of Mother Nature, uh, you know, adding a lot of air to the, the effluent to uh, burn off or evaporate off the organics. That's and for in the, anybody in the, in the neighborhood, if they were to take a look just south of Devon, you see those bubbles going on. Um, That's uh, one of the aeration stations that we, one of the many aeration stations that we have in the inland waterway system downstream of our treatment plants um, in order to keep water uh, um, actually it's, uh, aerobic rather than having to turn anaerobic and become septic. Now, basically, you're, you're starting to have an effect on the neighborhood, as far as I can see, because, well, first of all, there, we, we talked the last time you were on, there was a very interesting article in the Tribune um, from a science teacher, high school science teacher, talking about how Lawrence, near the uh, North Shore Channel, all this wildlife is popping up. I am seeing more possums, more skunks, and by that I don't mean other elected officials. <laughs> you don't qualify for that. Not, not you, Mr. Lang. But, um, well, maybe. But um, anyway, the, the point is that... Um, somebody actually saw a deer down the block about two weeks ago. Now, is this part, I would think that this is partially as a result of the um, water being cleansed. Well, the deer down the block, you're probably, probably looking for food. I mean, uh, but, yeah. uh, but no, we've had uh, a return of fish to, to the inland waterway system. We've got about 68 different species of fish. As a matter of fact, this week, uh, the mayor in the Chicago Park District, the city of Chicago and the Chicago Park District are having a contest down along the, the bank of the Chicago River from uh, Michigan Avenue on over to Columbus Drive uh, where they have a fishing derby going on and uh, people have been catching bluegills and smallmouth bass. So uh, there is uh, fish life back in the river system. No, there's definitely fish life and I'm still waiting to hook my first wild gefilte out there. <laughs> <laughs> we, we caught a tilapia <laughs> up oh, on the really? North Branch Chicago River. Which is basically a tropical fish. Yeah, that's uh, New Zealand, Australia. Yeah, <laughs> and we're assuming that the, the only way it got there is somebody probably put it into the inland waterways. I would think so, as long as they don't pin, put any of those, uh, well, you know. The, the Asian this, carp. Yeah, th yeah, that would be very dangerous. That's the problem. Now, um, yeah, the, that particular article, they were talking about how, how they're seeing minks and they're seeing uh, beavers and things like that. Forget we're getting all kinds of habitat that's returning to the inland waterways. And uh, not to mention they were saying the muskrats are replacing river rats. Exactly, exactly. I don't know if they're eating a river rat. So, same size. Same size yeah. yeah, but uh, apparently the muskrats aren't quite as yucky. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, we're getting a lot of uh, a lot of return of habitat, and like I said, the fish and uh, the aquatic life is uh, is returning to the inland waterway system. And that's due in part to the, the tunnel and reservoir plan. Which I think is terrific. Now, it's very interesting because um, you guys actually originally got stiffed in Washington in terms of uh, federal the federal funds you needed to, to try to help make things cleaner, and then all of a sudden... Um, uh, Bushman, or whatever his name is, the guy in Washington, uh, announces this big plan to help clean the Great Lakes. <laughs> well, we, we actually, uh, it was the Army Corps' budget. Um, the last four years, they've been cut 15% on an annual basis. And uh, the part of the project that we're involved with right now, the reservoir portion, is 75% funded by the Army Corps of Engineers. And because of the new formula that they've come up with for the year 2006 budget, uh, we were basically aced out of receiving any revenue. However, with uh, our agency going back and showing them 
some of the new technologies that were available and that we would be using other than the technologies that were originally presented at the, the start of the project uh, would save us quite a bit amount of money and that helped our benefit cost ratio then in turn our congressional delegation was be able to was able to secure us 25 million dollars uh, Senator Durbin and Senator Obama has been helpful on the Senate side to increase it by another five million so we'll have 30 million dollars to work with next year uh, to keep the construction time schedule on uh, hopefully online well that's good now how how much does this affect um, the, the keeping our water I mean how, what is how, what kind of infra effect did the deep tunnel and cleaning Lake Michigan and, and these things well have? the deep tunnel project since its conception uh, which was back in 1976 and since the first leg of it went online in 1985 has been capturing a more concentrated flow during a heavy rain event of uh, the combined sewer flow the combined sewer overflows which is the the more raw and concentrated uh, sewage. So, I mean, as you can see, you know, with all the development and all the open space now being developed along the inland waterways, that it's no longer the open sewer that it used to be no, before as matter, 1985. As a matter of fact, at one time, the, the locks were open, what, 50, 60 times a year? Yeah, least? as a matter of fact, we used to, every on average, every fourth day, we used to have to go reverse back into the inland waterway. Which basically means all the stuff you're flushing down they couldn't handle so they let it back into Lake Michigan. And, uh, well, going to the inland waterway system then eventually out, out into Lake Michigan. Right. But and since since we've put this whole system online, 101 miles of 109 miles, uh, we've only had to go out to the lake since 1985 13 times. So that's a remarkable amount of... Uh, so you're basically talking about every... One, Every two, th every year and a half, approximately, since, something like since that. Since we opened it up in '85, correct. So most years, this this isn't even a factor. And um, we also want to mention, um, we also want to mention for people who don't realize the, the water reclamation district also is one of the biggest landlords in the city, and a number of the recreational opportunities around here um, are a direct result of uh, the, not to mention schools. Um, you know, the the, the Joan Dex Basiaco School is 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 from the water reclamation district, Dillon North, Stadium, Northside Academy Prep. Northside Academy at, Prep, uh, Bryn Mawr and uh, Kedzie, that was on built on water reclamation district land. Yeah, in Skokie, that whole um, Dillon Stadium, all the all the property on both sides of the channel, going from Devon virtually up to Green Bay Road, is all district land, and that's been leased to the local yeah. municipalities for open and recreation. Uh, purposes. And the new park land we have along Kedzie too in Chicago. Um, we don't have as much time today. We've got four guests on the show, but. Um, I want to say hi to Kathleen, my favorite person in the Water Reclamation District, out of you. And um, uh, if people want to contact you at the Water Reclamation District, they would call. 312-751-5700. 312-751-5700. Uh, don't forget, uh, March is still a long way till uh, the election time, but you're actually up for re for re-election again. March 21st, and, yeah, and we'll, 2000. We'll, we'll be out there for you. 50th birthday. Um, that sounds great. I want to thank you very much, the president of the Water Reclamation District, Terry O'Brien. Thank you so much Thanks, for being Abby. here today. Thanks for having me on. Thank you.